Today we've got four different development updates to cover from four separate games, Battlefield 2042, Boundary, Bright Memory Infinite, and Halo Infinite. And I just noticed that there's two infinites in each of those games. What's up guys, I'm Blue Monkey, and welcome to Capture the Frag, the channel dedicated to giving you only the most interesting in shooter game news. So if you're bored with the current shooter meta, join me on my journey to a thousand subscribers where I'll be uploading weekly and talking about all the shooter games that are making real moves in the genre. So we've got two delays here for two games. And I'm telling you right now, one of them, don't worry about it. One of them, you should probably be worried. So let's start with Battlefield 2042. Now you might've heard that this game got pushed back to November 19th instead of October 22nd. Now one of the devs, Jim Hedgel, actually tweeted out a couple weeks back. He says, hey, I really appreciate all the support from the community regarding the 2042 dates. It feels good that you trust us and you should. It's a solid game. This is not my first rodeo. It's not a project in trouble. Just needs a little bit longer on spin cycle. Have faith, fam. Now I tend to believe him, if not for his calm demeanor, but because I mean, it's getting pushed back less than a month away. Like if this is getting pushed back all the way to 2022, they probably, you know, the game probably wouldn't have been ready. He also did say in another tweet that they are working on terrain tessellation for max performance uh, without sacrificing anything visually, just doing some tweaks there. So yeah, I mean, I tend to believe him. It, it's kind of cool too. He also says kind of interesting because the geography of the studios, it's literally being worked on every hour of the day. As one group taps out, another team is just waking up. It's inspiring to witness. The project never sleeps. So they're literally working on this 24 hours a day. I will give you guys any updates if anything changes, but I really do think that the November 19th release date is gonna hold. Now, on the other hand, Boundary. Now, I, I literally just put out a video a couple days ago saying, where is Boundary? Because the last thing we heard about this game is that it was coming summer 2021, and we're past that, and we haven't gotten anything new. And the trailers actually went from saying summer 2021 to 2021 to just coming soon. And the developers for this game, now I understand that Battlefield devs have been kind of quiet recently too. These guys have not said anything. They just cut the release date back and then have not said anything since. And literally the day after I made that video, they posted a trailer. I was like, oh snap, a trailer. It says check out the new Firefall trailer. It's got plenty of never before seen footage. Also, we'll have something really cool to announce soon, so stay tuned. Now I'm here to tell you, if there was any new footage in it, I did not see it. And there's still no release date. They literally have not even mentioned pushing the game back. And just by reading the comments on this tweet, the community seems to agree with me. Everybody thinks the hype's falling off, and I kind of agree. I'm still excited for this game. I'm still gonna keep following it as annoying as it is, and I also will be sure to keep you guys updated on any new announcements. Okay, so let's move on to some more upbeat news. Now, I don't know if you ever played Bright Memory, okay, but I did, and it was a good time. Really short, like two hour playthrough. The footage that you see here is Bright Memory Infinite, and if you don't know anything about this game, it's being developed literally by just one guy. It looks absolutely amazing. The first game was kind of like a first person Devil May Cry style, where it's really fast paced and you're getting rated on an STD scale. Bright Memory Infinite, however, it looks to be a much more fleshed out and full experience. And the developer over at FYQD Studio also did put out a tweet that says, hello everyone, I'm very happy to tell you Bright Memory Infinite PC version has been roughly developed. Console version is also being ported and will continue to be shared with everyone once there is progress. And he also gives us the title page and some screenshots, all of which look really clean. Now in the comment to this one, Master Chief says, awesome work, can you give us a hint when to expect release? And he responds, release date will be announced when the console version is ported and it's currently planned to be in 2021. Hype. And just so you know, boundary, this is how you keep in touch with your community. Just throw out an update once in a while. Now, for those of you who played Halo Infinite's multiplayer technical test this past weekend, I envy you. I'm on PC and I didn't sign up by the sign up date. So unfortunately, I don't get to play. But the reviews are in and everybody seems to have generally positive feedback, which is amazing to hear. And one of my good buddies, Schwex, he got a chance to play and he said it is spot on. Now I've actually got a little review here from Forbes magazine. Um, not of the entire game, obviously, but just of the multiplayer technical test that they just did. If you want to check that out and get a little bit more detailed information, I will link that down in the comments along with some of the cool stuff. But if you're on Xbox, good news for you guys, because this coming weekend, you are actually going to get a chance to play the multiplayer technical test as well. You just have to be signed up for the Halo Insider program. And I'll go ahead and link that down below so you can go ahead and sign up now. But if you're on PC, like me the cutoff week to sign up was a couple weeks ago so if you're not already signed up then uh, it's all good you know you still have a pc and they're still on console like you're fine no i'm just playing but guys if you're looking for more videos i have a couple to the right that you might find interesting like i said on capture the frag we're covering all the shooter games that are actually innovating in the genre and trying to push it forward thanks for stopping by and we'll see you in the next one peace